Ha families are dealing with damage done to the final resting place of their loved ones. Police report an alleged 20 year old drunk driver crashed through the fence of a cemetery early yesterday morning, causing major damage. Police tell our John Chapman the driver was ticketed, not arrested. Caretakers at Holy Sepulchre Cemetery have been working hard, restoring peace to this sacred place. That peace was disrupted when a car came crashing through the fence on the west side of the cemetery. It took that monument here, that first monument hit, one of the bases was here, and the two part of the bases were back by the, uh, uh, so there it, it hit pretty good. He had to been going excess of, I'm guessing, 60 plus miles an hour for this type of damage. And I feel bad for the people. That's why we want to get these monuments up as quick as we can. One of the sad things about this incident, we're told this isn't the first time caretakers have had to repair damaged monuments here. It's happened before, unfortunately, and that stretch for some reason just seems to be a magnet to uh, high speed and, and rec reckless activity. I mean, I knew what I was going to see when I got there and I was highly disappointed when it was what I expected I would see. Dan Gilster is the operations manager. He tells us there are at least six or seven monuments that are damaged. Dan called each one of those families to let them know what happened here. Their families are they're 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 torn up about this. This is uh, this is very impactful. Not only does this crash cause the families emotional pain, it can also cost them thousands of dollars to replace what they so carefully selected to remember their loved ones. They're not repairable. Some families may just have to leave them the way they are, intact with, you know, now they're scuffed up a little bit. Others will, will find the resources to, to get them repaired. Repaired is basically replaced. Yeah, you can't change. You, you've damaged granite, granite's done. The caretakers are working hard and as quickly as they can to get the monuments back in place. They tell us it's the respectful thing to do. You have all those families that that's the permanent resting spot for their relatives and it's a sacred piece of land to them. It's a sacred piece of land to us. And you have somebody that, even if that wasn't their intention, that was their direct impact on, on that community and that cemetery. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Now more on that driver. Omaha police cited the 20 year old for a number of charges, DUI, minor in possession and no proof of insurance.